What's going on guys? This is Damien from The Lookout and I'm here to answer a very important question. Should you buy Premium Anniversary Box 2023? Yes, we're answering this right in this video. This is our product review. So let's just dive into it. But before we begin the video, huge shout out to the Coffee Club, our lovely patrons. These are our $2 and up patrons that buy us coffee. They keep this machine going and eventually very very soon we will replace the broken table if you wish to join the coffee club link to our patreon is in the description below and i think that's about everything roll the video as we told for videos let's start with the breakdown so this is our anniversary box 2023 review the anniversary box is coming out in europe tomorrow i know it has been delayed a bit for other regions we will go over it in the video and today we're answering what's in the box we will go over new support for all the decks. We have two secret rares to go over. I will answer the question, should you buy this product? I will grade it and then we'll end it with a summary. Let's go. Let's start with some basic info. We have a new anniversary box. So guys, if you're new to Dragon Ball, every year we get an anniversary box. It's a product which brings us a whole bunch of new cards designed to support old archetypes. People love this product, I love this product a lot because we have no rotation in Dragon Ball and usually we don't get good support for all the archetypes that often so this is the product that just compensates for it. So if you have like an old deck that you like from like 4 years ago it might get some huge power boost and become meta relevant or at least like better than it is right now. Anyway, let's go over everything that you're getting in this box. You're getting 52 new cards made to support all the, arch all the archetypes, plus 5 reprints, plus 2 guaranteed secret rares. Yes, in every anniversary box, you are guaranteed 2 secret rares. Release dates are the 6th of uh, October Europe, that's tomorrow, uh, 10th of October in NA, and 20th of October in Latin America. Now, I don't know the release dates for other regions. Hopefully, they are somewhere around this time period. And the last thing that I need to mention, though, is that MSRP is $100. This product is a $100 product. Yeah, okay, we will talk about the pricing. We will talk about the pricing later. Let's check out some new cards. That's right, new cards. So this product contains 52 exclusive new cards. You can get them only in this product. And the bulk of these 52 come from a 36 new battle cards set. So every product comes with this set of 36 new battle cards. And then the other cards are like Z extra cards, Z leader, Z battle cards. But 36 new battle cards set. That's the bulk of the support. All of these new cards are made to support older existing archetypes. 18 archetypes in total. Yeah, so you might, if you're someone who has been playing for a while, you might actually have one of these decks. In your deck just got support. For example, as you can see with this Vegeta SS4 Bardo got support in this set. Let's take a look, speaking of the decks, let's take a look at which decks got support. These 18 decks got support and some of them got insane support, guys. We have covered a bunch of them here on the channel. We haven't covered all of them, but we did cover at least the first half. I plan on going over the rest of them at some point. At some point, though, because I'm really short on time at the moment. But let's just quickly go over them so you have, like... Cooler Mill, which got a Golden Cooler Z later, and it's gonna be insane. Red Jiren, another fan favorite, got a huge buff. Red Gohan, now you have like Pan. Pan is one of the best decks in the game at the moment, so Pan really got a great buff in this. And then there's like the weird ones, like Miracle Strike Gogeta, a promo whoever won, but me probably forgot exists because I love this artwork. Uh, the old Vegito starter. Um, Halo Ku, Ripku, however you want to call it, Terless, the meme Quotku deck got support, Super 17, the deck that I'm playing at the finals got support, and then you got like uh, Yellow Sin, Yellow Gotenks, uh, Helku got support, Mehikabura got a Z leader finally, uh, the old Demigra, so if you're someone who's 
you know, who played this game a long time ago and who's just coming back in, you might actually have this Demigra deck. And this deck just got support. The Shroom and Salsa that nobody played got support. Android 16. And finally, the fan favorite SS4 Bardock. So, yeah. All of these decks got, su got support. And all of these got, like, amazing support. None of these support is bad. Nothing is bad here. So, they're just, like, various degrees of good. But, yeah. I've been talking about these decks long enough. Let's continue our coverage of new cards. And before we continue our coverage of these new cards, which will include the new secret rares now, and the one new secret rare, we have to talk about something extremely important. So if you're considering buying this product, this is probably the most important thing that you need to know. The box only contains two copies of each of the new battle cards. Only two copies. You're not getting full playsets from a single box. If you want full playsets, you either need to go and buy a second box, which is $200. That's a bit of an overkill. You're not going to earn your money back by selling secret rares and stuff from this box. No. Or you just buy them as singles. But you need to keep in mind. So, guys, if you're going to buy this product, please, please keep in mind that you're not getting full playsets. Uh, some of these decks don't need full playsets but a lot of them do so yeah just please proceed with that in mind and uh, this for example this isn't an issue for z cards you know you don't need four z leaders you don't need four of a z battle card because you know you usually don't use playsets of them because you can only have seven cards in a z deck but for battle cards it's quite different it's quite different for battle cards and that's my biggest gripe with this product we'll talk about this a bit more when we reach the pricing but yeah please once again just keep in mind you're only getting two copies of each of the new battle card now let's talk about secret rares okay so the box contains two guaranteed secret rares two guaranteed secret rares so in every box you'll get two of them and it's always the same two the first one is a reprint and it is SSB Vegeta, the original God Rare. Got reprinted with this phenomenal artwork. I really like this artwork. I like it more than the original one. And yeah, this one, very, very good choice, guys. Very good choice because this one is the best SCR in red. It, it's either this or SS4 Vegito. It comes down to personal preference but i like this one more i think this is the better one and just based on that alone and based on the effect that it's a piece of dragon ball history because this was the first ser that got the god rare treatment i think this is a phenomenal choice for reprint like kudos to bandai this is a phenomenal reprint choice it's old enough so that players who bought it couple of years ago aren't upset that the price has just crashed completely now and it's strong enough to be relevant trust me just because red isn't the meta color right now doesn't mean that the card is bad the card is phenomenal the other ser is a completely new card completely new which will in some boxes come in a rare alternative art version I'm going to show you both versions of the card right now. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you Son Goku Final Spirit Bomb. The Final Spirit Bomb, the iconic scene from Dragon Ball GT where Goku defeats Omega Shenron with the Spirit Bomb. It's cute. It's definitely a cute card. So uh, the one on the left is the normal version. The one on the right is a super rare alternate art version and you can open this one only in i don't know one of an x number of anniversary boxes so you might get super lucky with your first purchase and open this one immediately or like you might have to open like three or four of them to maybe get this one we don't know the ratios at the moment but it's gonna be super rare Let's talk a bit more 
about this secret rare. We haven't had the chance to analyze it yet. So let's do that here. Let me start off by saying that this is an amazing collector's item. This is an amazing collector's item, especially in the version to the left, this alternate art version. Uh, the normal version, everyone's getting that one. Everyone is getting it. Uh, this one is going to be, if you happen to open it, it will not come as a third secret rare, it will just replace the normal version. And that's it. You're still getting Vegeta, no matter what, and you're always getting two SERs. Um, when it comes to this card's viability in the game, uh, it's an amazing collector's item, like I wrote, but as a game piece, it isn't really good, it's actually quite bad. Like, it's actually quite bad when you compare it to other secret rares. Like, it's cute, it's super gimmicky. It unfortunately doesn't really work in green SS4 Goku, where this card would be just phenomenal. It doesn't work there, unfortunately. But there are some decks where you can try to squeeze it. However, that doesn't matter. It's okay to sometimes have, like, these premium collector's item, collector's chase cards let's call them like this in these very expensive products like it's okay it doesn't have to be super competitive because at least we got ssb vegeta ser to compensate for this one not being a competitive one if both of them were not competitive that would have been a disaster but luckily vegeta more than makes up for this one in my mind so yeah, if you're a collector, if you're someone who likes chasing rare items, this is the SER for you. If you're someone who's looking to play the game competitively and you're looking at like which SER to get, this isn't the one that you want to get. Like they are even cheaper SERs than this one. They're dirt cheap SERs which are more competitively viable than this one. But at least you will be getting Vegeta. We're also getting five reprints. Five cards got reprinted and boy do I have a lot to say about this. So there, Paragos, Swift Retaliation Cooler, Jiren, SSOC Immortals Begone, and Supreme Kai of Time. Alright, so um, let's try not to get too rambly with this one. Um, first off, I don't think that it's good that we just got five reprints. Only five is quite a shame, especially when you consider the price of the product. Only five reprints is... I don't know. I don't know. I think that we need more of them, because Dragon Ball is a card game that doesn't reprint cards very often, where it really should be doing that more often in staples. Uh, definitely reprinting staples, because some of the staples are stupid expensive. So with only five slots, how good are these reprints. Let's start with Paragus. This is the one that I have the biggest gripe with. Like, I think that there are other cards in green that should have been reprinted. There are other cards, like Dormant Potential, should have been made more available. Uh, Kai Kaioken. Kaioken should have been much more available. But we got Paragus instead. And... Um, I can see the logic here, we never had an alternate art foil version of Paragus, and this one looks super sweet. It is the super combo that you're playing if you're playing green. It's the best super combo in the color. Then we have Swift Retaliation Cooler, the counter counter cooler is now even cheaper, and the artwork is amazing. Like This is Chef's Kiss, this is Chef Damien's Kiss, um, amazing card, definitely amazing reprint. Jiren, uh, okay. Sure, sure. Jiren also never had an alternative art. Jiren doesn't even have a single SPR. So this kind of makes up for it. Uh, Rosé um, should have been something else, I think, but still a staple. Definitely a staple in the color. Never had a reprint. Came out in the last anniversary box. This is its first reprint. And Kai Kai is a phenomenal choice. Kai is just flat out a phenomenal choice. This card is pretty expensive in some regions. And uh, the last thing that I wish to mention is you will get two copies of each of these cards. You are still not getting a playset. You're still not getting a playset. You're just getting two copies of each. And you need a playset for some of them. Like you need a playset of Paragus. It's your super combo. So yeah, you'll have to buy again. You'll have to buy two boxes 
for playsets. Finally, in the briefest segment of the review is the sleeves. Um, you're gonna get one random set of 66 sleeves per box. So 50 for the deck, one for the leader, and then like the rest for the sideboard, basically. Um, these are your choices. The artwork is pretty nice on them. I'm not someone who personally cares much about artwork on cards and sleeves. So it might, this definitely isn't for me. It might not mean much to me, but it probably means a lot to some of you. So, and especially I think that if I were to get one of these, I would get the Bis Gohan one for uh, my Z extra cards. Because this one looks phenomenal. This one looks the best. This flat out looks the best. Okay, we've talked about everything in the product. It's time to touch the touchy subject. Let's talk about pricing. The price of this product by MSRP, it might be higher in your stores, is 100 USD or 100 euros. Once again, this might be higher depending on your store. This is a lot. This is really a lot. And uh, previous boxes were cheaper because we used to get, we used to only get cheaper boxes than this one. Then last year we got a normal version for 60-ish, I wish to say. I'm not sure anymore. And that one included one SCR. Um, and we got a premium version for 100. And I think they were sold for like 120 at the finals, something like that. And that one contained uh, all three SCRs in special artwork and everything. Uh, this time you can't choose to buy a cheaper option. You only have the 100 euro one. And that's really not cheap. Like that's not cheap, guys. I'm not. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Uh, to compensate for this, you're getting two secret rares. So just like in previous premium version, you're getting all of the secret rares. Except instead of getting three of them, you're getting two. Now why you're not getting three, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. But Vegeta is an amazing reprint and. I think that like the alternate chase version kind of makes up for one if you care about stuff like that and definitely I understand that some people love collecting rare items so definitely then it more than compensates if you're one of these collectors I think I'm personally not so <laughs> anyway the main issue all right so the main issue that I have with this even at this price, which is like, okay, you're still getting two secret trials, but the main issue for me is that for such a high price, you're still not getting playsets of everything. You're still not getting playsets. That's my biggest gripe with this product. Everything in it is phenomenal, but you're not getting playsets of stuff. You're expected to spend $200 or euros to get everything, which is a bit unrealistic. Like, spend 200 bucks to get play sets of new cards. You're not gonna get that money back from selling extras. It's a bit unrealistic. Like I really, really hope that in the next one, next year, if Bandai, if you're listening, if you're going to price it at 100 plus euros, please at least have play sets of reprints. Like the idea that reprints aren't in play sets is just weird. And this will just cause people to buy the last two cards that they need from places for places from like secondary market or something because at this price point price point it's way too much it's just way too much now let's answer the main question should you buy this product should you buy anniversary box 2023 yes yes and no okay let's go over it so if you're a current or a returning player yes Definitely. This product is amazing for powering up some of your decks. This is the best anniversary box that we have ever had. So if you're a current or a returning player and you have the extra income to buy this one, yeah, definitely go ahead, buy it. It's an amazing product. If you're a collector, then yes. And I think that 
the idea of the alternative one is a uh, alternative RTSER is made for the collectors. It also that like you guys can chase the, this old art new secret rare. I hope that you get it. I really hope that you're getting it. If you're one of the collectors and you're watching this video, I'm rooting for you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, you will lose a bit on the value if you're strictly a collector, you're not a player. So I do, I know, when I say that you will lose, I mean more in like, I don't know how much these reprints will mean to you or like new support will mean to you if you're not playing the game. But for the new super rare alternate art, secret rare, yeah, I think that it's worth buying if you're into this, if you're into collecting rare cards. Uh, if you're completely new to the game, and we have new players. If you're completely new to the game, no, you shouldn't buy this product if you're new to the game unless you have some of these older decks. Because you're getting a lot of support for old archetypes, but you're not getting anything from them. You're just getting new cards. So if you're someone who just got a Vegito starter deck from the newest set and you're getting into the game and you're looking at this box, and thinking, hey, is there something here that's gonna like get me new cards, that's gonna get me like a new deck or something? No, then this isn't a product for you. It's better for you to just buy booster boxes if you wish to spend more money just to buy booster boxes of the next set, because in this one, you will just get a bunch of cards for all the decks that you don't have. So, yeah, baseline, should you buy it? Yes, yes. And no. Now comes my favorite part of the video where I actually get to grade the product. So let's talk about my final grade for the anniversary box 2023. Okay, so does this box provide good support for older archetypes? Yes, it provides some of the best support that we have ever had. Ever. It's infinitely better than the one from last year. Infinitely better. And it's gonna make these old decks, I don't know if, if it's gonna make them meta relevant, but it's gonna make them stronger for the current era of Dragon Ball. And that's what Anniversary Box is supposed to do. Okay, what about Secret Rares? Um, the choice of the Secret Rare reprint is amazing. I absolutely love that choice. I would have preferred like Beast Gohan or Gohan Piccolo, but it is what it is. It's still a good choice, so I'm fine with that. I wish that we got one more SCR reprint. I wish that we got just like one more. In the new SCR, it's cute. Like it's, I'm I'm a player first, so I mean like I'm a player second, but uh, even for me, this is like I'm not gonna use that one. It's underwhelming. I'm not a collector, so yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, when it comes to reprints, good choices, solid choices, but not enough reprints. Like, definitely not enough reprints, but the choices that were made are pretty okay. They are pretty good. The price point is absolutely atrocious for the idea that you're not getting play sets. And um, it's a good product to buy. I think it's a good product to buy. So, with all of this in consideration, my final grade for anniversary box is a 9 out of 10. Yes, a 9 out of 10. Let me explain why. Uh, because, in my mind, this is the best anniversary box that we've ever had. Because it does what it's supposed to do so well. It does it so well, guys. Um, the idea is that the anniversary box is supposed to power up older archetypes. And this new support that we just got is the best support yet. For each of them, for every single archetype, this support is the best that it got in a long while. Or maybe ever for some of them. So, in this regard, the anniversary box is a slam dunk. Definitely. Uh, when it comes to reprints, unfortunately, just five... Yeah, then they should really step up the reprint game, but when it comes to looking at like which five, they're all solid choices. Like Jiren is a bit questionable, Paragus to me is a bit questionable, and Rosé, I'm not super happy with it, but these are, some of these are staples. Paragus is still a staple, Cooler is a staple, Rosé is a staple, so 
as much as the as much as there is an idea like there could have been better reprints with a slot of only five the choices are still pretty solid uh, my biggest gripe with this one is not just the price okay if you're gonna have one version and you're gonna charge it a hundred euros which is a lot and you get like both secret rares this time around and everything you should get playsets you should get playsets of everything at this price that's the biggest issue that i have with this product probably the only issue that i have with it is that you're not getting everything i think that it's insane that you're paying over a hundred euros and you're not getting all of the stay not all of the staples all of the playsets you're just not getting it not even reprints like yeah this is the one part that's a huge minus for me i've had this issue with the last anniversary box as well and we are seeing it here again but other than that if we look at what the anniversary box is supposed to be and what it's supposed to do this is the best one yet this is by far the best anniversary box that we have ever had before we end the video let's wrap it up with a summary this is like i've just said by far the best anniversary box that we've ever had this one is pure fire it's slam dunk all of the new support cards are absolutely amazing by far the best anniversary box that we've ever had new support makes all of the older decks better no it doesn't make all of them meta decks but it makes them a lot better it makes them a lot better and for some of them it fixes their core issues and that's the most important thing ssb vegeta scr reprint is great it's the best scr in red so yeah red might not be the best color at the moment but it's still the best scr in it i uh, i wish that it was Beast gohan but it's not so i'm still happy with vegeta uh, the five reprints are okay they could have been better. I think that I have stressed this quite enough in this video that they could have either been better or we could have had like two more in each color and rounded up to 15. Uh, the price of the product is very high. The price of the product, there's no going around this. The price is very high. It, at least a hundred dollars, hundred euros for the box. Yeah, it, it's, it's a bit of a shame that we're not getting a cheaper version this time around that's a bit of a shame so at this high price point i hope that if bandai decides to keep this price point that the next one will either have an extra amazing ser reprint or will finally have playsets at least of reprints overall i do recommend this one if you have extra income and you wish to buy the anniversary box I do recommend this one but there is as always as always we have to be critical we have to give critical constructive feedback and mine is that there is room for improvement regarding the play sets and price because once again for a hundred and something euros you should be getting play sets of everything but hey if you wish to know should you buy this product if you want to buy it buy it i recommend it if you have extra income go wild by anniversary box it is still the best anniversary box that we've ever had that's it for the video let me know in the comments below will you buy this anniversary box will you buy it actually will you buy maybe two copies to get um the play sets i think that is a really valuable feedback which is why i encourage all of you to let me know in the comments below will you be buying multiple of these to a get play sets or b and or b get the alternate art scr please let me know because like that's the best way for us to gather this feedback and maybe we can create like some some sort of a breakdown like get some data on is this way of trying to sell the anniversary box working maybe maybe it can be good enough feedback maybe ben they sees it who knows i doubt it but hey maybe they see it and we get an even better anniversary box next time around or at least better priced one 
guys let me know in the comments below i read all of your comments i try to respond to everything i love our little community and before you leave hit those like and subscribe buttons we are on our way to 4000 subscribers and when we get there i'm gonna give away a booster box this has been damien from the lookout and i'll see all of you in the next video